Prince Harry has reportedly been the victim of a series of prank calls by two well-known Russian hoaxers. According to The Sun, the Duke of Sussex spoke to Vladimir Kuznetsov and Alexei Stolyarov, aka Vovon and Lexis. The duo pretended to be teen environmental activist Greta Thunberg and her father. Access has not verified the authenticity of the recordings, but the pranksters reportedly spoke to Harry twice, first on New Year's Eve and then in January. And during those alleged talks, the Duke reportedly opened up about a wide range of topics, including his and Meghan's step down from senior royal duties. Harry is quoted by The Sun as saying on the phone, I can assure you, marrying a prince or princess is not all it's made out to be. But sometimes, the right decision isn't always the easy one. And this decision certainly wasn't the easy one. But it was the right decision for our family, the right decision to be able to protect my son. And I think there's a hell of a lot of people around the world that can identify and respect us for putting our family first. Harry also reportedly discussed the new role he and Meghan are taking on, saying in part, being in a different position now gives us the ability to say things and do things we might not have been able to do. And seeing as everyone under the age of 35 or 36 seems to be carrying out an activist's role, gives us the opportunity to try and make more of a difference without being criticized. Harry was also reportedly asked about his uncle, Prince Andrew, who has taken a break from the royal spotlight amid the controversy surrounding his connection to the late convicted sex offender, Jeffrey Epstein. Harry said, per The Sun, I have very little to say on that, but whatever he has done or hasn't done is completely separate from me and my wife. We operate in a way of inclusivity and we are focusing on community. So we are completely separate from the majority of my family. Harry has yet to respond publicly to the reports. And when asked about the reported prank, the palace declined to comment to NBC News.